back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. On this beautiful day, may God take care of your needs, touch your life with joy and contentment, bless your life with love and faith, comfort your soul with inner peace, and grant you good health now and always. Why go on, my people? Open body, you know, okay? Open body, you know, all right? Yet another Saturday morning, I find myself for life. Every day above ground is a blessing. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. Time is free, but it is priceless. You cannot own it, but you can use it. You can keep it, but you can spend it. Once you have lost it, you can never get it back. Whoop, somebody are listening. You know, I'm a tougher. Listen to this one, you know. You will unlock what you need to create more when you appreciate what you already have. Never let what is yet to be distract you from what has manifested. True happiness is about letting go of what you assume your life is supposed to be and appreciating it for what it is. Today, be at peace with where you've been and stay grateful for what you have. Your life is good and you have what it takes to keep working on it and making it even greater. That is it. People can tell you this. The police them finally understand the operation. No free throw line business. But for your fly, I'm going to tell you no, from the other day, the police them just attack. Be a cheap pointer. Lone butterfly. I will land the people. I look at things going on in my yard way last night. Me I tell you, see, holy for people are ball, but me not too feel sorry for your little boy. You understand? Because the little boy is full. He going to give innocent youth still, you know. But because I rank, because he going to give him life. I'm so I couldn't know what I'm going to do, what I'm going around there. Because holy for people are ball, I'm just stand one side and set so. I'm just a look so. I'm not saying nothing like this. Yeah, me never find that for real, can I say? This a boy a fool, eh, man. Look how the man the ear and he make it rank as make him dead. Anyway, anyway, let me give the people them some news and then me tell the people them who are going around a yard. A man identified as Alex Grandison, otherwise called Hog Dog, who was among a group of people who broke into a school and stole items in Fort Park, Clarendon, has been charged with housebreaking and larceny. According to the Maypen Police, the basic school had broken into and several items stolen on October 19. Community members went in search of the item when they reported they saw two men standing next to a motor car. The police said the men ran upon seeing the group. The vehicle was searched and the items found inside. Grandis allegedly returned with petrol for the vehicle when he was mobbed before being handed over to the police. The people that began for fall say, remember me have a look at this video that can't show now when the police them come and them time they look at stupid people them are talk tough. You understand after them done give police the boy already for them fix the boy business. Anyway, now people make I move on. Gunman circle and shot up the gunman nine night. And guess what? Somebody get shot. You want one pan walk one for that? A man was shot and injured at a candlelight for a late ex-soldier, Kemar Raid. Kemar Raid O is the gunman. Yes, people of Westmoreland on Thursday night. Report reaching our news team that shot after 7 p.m. men traveling in a white Toyota Axio from the direction of Cornwall Court Community opened gunfire at a gathering, sending people running for cover to save them and their mother. Yes, when the shooting subsided, a man was found suffering from what appears to be gunshot wound. I never drop him, drop and bruise up, I shot him, get. The injured man was transported to the Savlamar Public General Hospital by residents. He was treated for gunshot wounds to the right elbow and lower left arm and admitted in stable condition. Yes, people. The incident followed a peace march on Wednesday in Savlamar in protest against the high murder rate in the parish. During the march, Bishop O'Neill Russell pled with persons to 
talk it out before I shoot it out. Pastor, I can tell you something. Leave them alone. Make them angle them, bangle themselves. You are going for you. You will get body come at the church. You understand the profound sermon. And you can get to a nice little offering. So what I said and I mean what I said. I mean I'll take you back. Anyway, people make I move on with the news. A 17-year-old girl has been charged with murder after incident in church in Sunday Bay and over. Let me say it again. A 17-year-old girl. I mean, I'm going to tell you how she killed people so nobody worry herself. The girl has been charged with illegal opening a firearm and last of a vehicle. Report reaching our news team from the Corporate Communication Unit, CCU, that at about 10 p.m., the teen had a dispute with her boyfriend. Yes, people, the 17-year-old had a dispute with her 32-year-old boyfriend, Sidhu Chambers, during which he was allegedly shot. Not allegedly, she shot him. Yes, people. It is also alleged that the girl stole Chambers' Toyota Mark X motor car and fled the scene. Chambers succumbed to his injury days later. Remember me under the talk about that. Investigation led to the teen's arrest in Kingston. She was charged on Thursday, October 20, after giving a caution statement in the presence of her attorney. The girl is scheduled to appear in Anova Family Court on Tuesday, November 1st. Anyway, people, we can move on and leave that news alone, yeah, man. One thing with me, me always going to tell the people them the truth. 99.98% of the time, when you see one man missing, we're not going to find him dead. Me and Alice tell the now, believe me. The body of 32-year-old car salesman, Kemal Barrett, who was reported the missing on Wednesday, has been found. According to the police, Barrett's body was found at around 11.05 a.m. on Wednesday with gunshot wound to the back of his head. He was last seen by his mother, Dennis Cargill, on the day he was reportedly missing. A matter of fact, Dennis, come, come talk to you people, let me have, man. He drops off his daughter at school. He drops off sandwiches by some pharmacies that he does sandwiches for and he comes by me and then he would leave to go buy a garage he buys and sells um motor vehicles buy them you know like damaged vehicles repair them and then sells them back so he would go by the garage and if he has car parts to purchase and stuff like that you know he would go and do and then you know by three o'clock he would be off again because he has his daughter to pick up back from school Christian, his wife, called to find out if we had seen Kamar. But I told her it was him in the morning, that we did see him in the morning. But what happened? What, you know, she said that she, he, he, didn't, he didn't come home with, with Mila, with the baby. And, and when she called the school, he was, the, the child was still there. And right away, she, she realized she knew that something was wrong. So that was Wednesday night after we, we, we went to the police station. And it was at 3 o'clock. At about 3 a.m., that would be Thursday morning, um, she called me to say that she had gotten a call from the police that there was a, they were alerted to a, a, to a car that was on fire on Ballata Avenue, somewhere thereabouts, and uh, it turned out that it was his car. Something not really right about this, Aquilina, my people, may I be honest with you, know, just as so, the police then become come tell me, say, over 50 had spent casing was removed from the crime scene of the cops killing. The bad little couple in there the other day that them they say. And we know say I never one shooter. So all of a sudden it's just one shooter. And I say the person that injured so the kill back. Good points on the text there, you know. Once the police them might take points, me alright with that. You are going for a go on now. A person of interest in the murder of police concept earlier this month has been shot dead by lawmen. Kirk Ruddock, otherwise called Hodges, was killed during a confrontation with police on Friday morning in Reddell St. Andrew. Information reaching our news team that about 10 a.m. members of the St. Andrew Central Police Division were on a target operation in Mosquito Valley area when they went to a house occupied by Ruddock. Upon reaching the house, the cops were reported a fire back on by Ruddock. Yes, people must heard a car bad boy, you know, people. And them kind of bad boy, I'm like, where's the police are come on this side? So watch out. Ah, shout out. Ruddock, no matter worry yourself. Me have got sponsored the paint and the tin spray for paint you up on the wall, you understand? Loving memory of Ruddock. Gangsters live on. Yeah. And them look at things that they get to you, them all. See, you understand? That's how they get to you, them all. Work for tin of paint, a spray can and a brush for paint to not on the wall. That's all them all. They reported took evasive action and returned the fire hitting Ruddock. Ruddock was taken to the hospital dead, dead. Dead. Oh, my people, Ruddock, who was deported from the United States in 2021 on firearm and drug related charges, was a person of interest in the October 15 shooting death of Constable Brian Martin. Remember that a little constable look like, say, 
If they like a high school and them look thing they are carrying their uniform, it may attack about people. Yeah man, Constable Brian Martin of the St. Andrew Central Police Division. Martin was shot dead while attending a wake in Frog City, St. Andrew. Four other individuals, including a 10-year-old, was shot and injured when government opened fire at the event. And people, remember me to tell you to say, over 50 had spent casing and more than one gunman did circle ends. You understand? So I you know I just want gunman alone, them see a press of interest, and I just one man them kill. Anyway, people, to over Central Village, my god. Every single day I come and tell the shot I beat over Central Village. And I say, oh them man I just have miss so I know them not catch no target. Hold on, them get somebody now. Man killing Central Village, the same catching South Police are keeping a close watch on Central Village as violence erupt in another volatile section of the community following the shooting death of a man identified by his alias Dean in the Little Lane area. It has been reported that there has been an extreme level of violence in Big Lane, Browns Lane and Little Lane area of the community as war infractions. Yes, war infraction battle over turf. I don't really know them over there battle for other people I want. Tell them to say, Dean dress no post foot. Yes, you want to see your Dean Yes, in him little black and white suit. Yes, if you prepare for federal, you understand? And a whole heap of little red spot the panic so they can't come, come look pan it. And see, I see an incident. I didn't get shot. A woman and picnic get shot. That's the sad part. Woman and picnic always get shot. Innocent them always get touched. Anyway, holy pa balling and body lie down pan the ground. Guess which part paper? Right round a Lincoln Road. Three men were killed in a drive by shooting at a cook shop in the area known as New Lincoln, close to Cross Road in the corporate area. Our news team understand that the murder took place sometime after 7 pm yesterday. Here the people them my ball. People the bus and try that can't believe I never mother dead. I don't know what the man is involved in that. I don't even know if the man is involved in that. But you know, say once people then people are come out come say anything. So that that be right on a little link and right there so I can take a walk but right on a Dunkirk now I soon get the youth full name and come back come tell the way him name But I go tell him story, you understand? The youth come from scheme and you know say scheme and made the street man them a war But him girlfriend come from right on a made the street And the man them from made the street tell him say yo You come from out of the enemy camp you know We don't know if you have take information and I give back to the man them So here we do don't come back around here. He's not involved in the war still enough people, but you don't know if he might tell the man them what go on pan, what go on pan the man that means his girlfriend and give me information. So the man them say, alright, you know here, you go feel. You pay for learn. See that? Man them slap him last night cause him decides say him still a go around the cast him not in the war. You understand people are gonna say freedom of movement and freedom of this. But you have to think. You understand? You have to Protect your tree. The can because of the current cause. You got that show your own. And see it there now. Him dead. And the girl will get her next man by next week. Come matter of fact. She don't have her next man already. So guess what? I soon come back up with some more news.